Hello, everyone. In this lecture, we talk about similar triangles, part C. So for part C geometry questions, a lot of times they will combine geometry with algebra. So you should be good at both areas. Okay, let's see some real questions. The first question comes from 2021 10B, problem 21. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. So here we have CD is one third, and we know this is folded. So for example, if we assume this is F, the point CF is equal to the length of CF, and this side is one minus X. So actually we can just solve this equation. So one third square plus one minus X square is equal to X square. And then if we continue to solve, and the uh, x squared, x squared canceled. So basically 2x is 10 over 9, x is 5 over 9. So now that we find this is 5 over 9, this is 4 over 9, okay? Uh, the question is, what's the parameter of AEC prime? So we already know this is 2 third, and uh, we just want to know these two. And uh, actually, you can see because this is a right angle, so this triangle AEC prime is similar to C prime DF. It's like uh, if we take this out, two third, and we don't know these two, but we know the other triangle. This is one third, four ninths, and uh, five ninths, okay? And you can see the ratio is basically um, times 2 over 3. So here for, for this one x, you can say x times 2 over 3 is equal to 1 third. So basically x is half. So this is half. And uh, this is y. y times 2 third is 5 over 9. So y is equal to um, 5 over 6. So this is 5 over 6. So the parameter is just adding together. So half plus 2 third plus 5, 6. This is 6, 3 plus 4 plus 5. So the answer is 2. Okay. The next one comes from 2020 10a problem 20. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. I already draw the graph. We want to know the area of ABCD, and we already have triangle ACD is equal to 20 times 30 divided by 2. We already have 300. Now we only need to find this right triangle, okay? And uh, probably we need to do a perpendicular line from B to F, and we can assume this EF equal to X. And uh, let's say the reason we're adding this line is because we can use similar triangle. We know triangle BEF is similar to triangle ECD. And the ratio is 15, 30, so 1 over 2. So basically, if EF is X, then BF will be 2X. So let's take this triangle ABC out. This is a height, and then we're gonna have, um, so this is X plus 15. And the other part is five minus X. And the height is basically two X, okay? And actually this right triangle, we know how to solve it can use similar triangle. The two small ones, they are similar. So we're going to have 5 minus x over 2x is equal to 2x over x plus 15. And this is a quadratic equation if we cross multiplication. So let's do 2x times 2x, which is 4x squared. And this times this, we're going to have negative x squared 
um, minus 10x plus 75 equal to 4x. And if we move everything over, we're going to have 5x squared plus 10x minus 75 equal to 0. And if we divide by 5, we got x squared plus 2x minus 15 equal to 0. And this can factor into this. So x is equal to 3. Now that we get x is 3, so this is 2, and this is 18, and uh, this is 6. So the area of ABC will be 20 times 6 divided by 2, which is 60. And in total, 300 plus 60 is 360. So this is a very good example of using similar triangle, and then you need to solve some algebra equations. Okay, the next one comes from 2018 10A problem 23. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. The question is what fraction is planted? So we just need to know if we know the side, we are finished. And here, this is perpendicular because it's the shortest distance. Okay. Uh, probably we can use similar triangle like this. And uh, this is x. And if we take this small triangle out, we know this is x. And the ratio is 3 to 4. So basically, this is 3 over 4x. So 3 over 4x. And uh, this part, then this part will just be 3 minus x minus 3 over 4x. And uh, then, let me use a different color. Now that we know the red part, 3 minus x minus 3 over 4x, this can be used to compare with this side 2. Compare with 2, the ratio should be equal to because it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the base triangle is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So this over 2 should equal to 5 over 4. Now we just need to solve this equation. We use cross multiplication. 12 minus 4x minus 3x is 10. So 7x is 2. x is 2 over 7. Now we find the x. And uh, what fraction? So it's 2 over 7 squared divided by the total area. The total area is 3 times 4 divided by 2, 6. So it's 4 over 49 divided by 6. So it's going to be 2 over 147. And the question is, uh, what fraction is planted? So this part is actually unplanted. So the planted is just a 1 minus this. So the answer is 145 over 147. Let's see the next one. The next one comes from 2017 10 problem 21. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. This one is actually very easy if we use similar triangle. So if this is x, and then because it's 3, 4, 5, so this part going to be 4 over 3x. And then we're going to have x plus 4 over 3x is equal to 4. So basically, x going to equal to 4 divided by 7 over 3. This is 12 over 7. We got x. And for y, similarly, uh, because this is y, and then this is 4 over 3y. And uh, this is 5 over 3y. And then this is y. So this part is basically 4 over 5y. So in total, we have 15 and 25, 37y equal to 4. So y is equal to 
divide is 60 over 37. So x over y, x over y, gonna equal to, so we times flip over 37 over 60. So the answer is 37 over 35. This is a relatively easy one, okay? The last one comes from 2015 10b, problem 22. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's come back. So here, this is one. And let's first figure out each angle. Each angle of the pentagon is 180 times 3 divided by 5, which we will get 108. And uh, this is 108. And we can figure out these two angles. They are equal. It's going to be 180 minus 108 divided by 2. So it's 36, 36. And this is 36, this is 36, this is also 36. So now actually you can see this is 72, 72. You can see a lot of similar triangles. You can say triangle AFG similar to triangle AEG, the small one, similar to the big one. And actually, if AG equal to 1, and AF is 1, EF is 1, and uh, if we assume this is X, FG is X, we're going to have 1 over X, the ratio is equal to 1 plus X over 1. So now let's solve X. 1 equal to X squared plus 1 uh, plus X. So X squared plus X minus 1 equal to 0. Now we need to use the quadratic formula. X is equal to negative 1, um, 1 through 5 divided by 2. And because X is a positive number, so it's actually only plus. So now we find X. We are looking for what is FG plus FG plus JH plus BD. Okay. Um, so CD is actually equal to EG, which is 1 plus X. And uh, JH is actually equal to, you can see it's actually equal to AF, which is 1. So in total, it's going to be X plus 1 plus 1 plus X. So in total, it's 2 plus 2X which is going to be 2 plus negative 1 plus root 5. This is equal to 1 plus root 5. Okay. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next lecture.